Hey everyone, I wanted to show you a little tweak that I learned how to make in Monday, which really helped me and I thought might help you as well. So one of the uh, things that I've always wanted to get out of Monday is a single view where I can see all of my tasks for that particular day or week or anything I have coming up. The challenge, so the my week view up at the top left here, uh, in theory should do that. And if we only had one person assigned to each task, then uh, yes, that, that would work well, but the re it doesn't actually work very well because we always have two people assigned to a task. One is a supervisor, the other is the assigned to. So when you click on my week, it will show you everything, whether you're a supervisor or assigned to, and it uh, becomes a bit problematic to figure out what's your what you actually have to do. Um, so I reached out to Monday and they gave me an idea about how to see just your specific tasks. So what you have to do is go down to dashboards. Uh, which is at the bottom, and then you click on new. By the way, this is what it's, well, I'll show you what it's going to look like in a moment. Uh, then you're going to click on add widget. You're going to click on more. Then you're going to go to search. You're going to type in the word table, and you're going to click add to dashboard. Okay, and now it's going to ask you to select the boards that you want to track your to-dos. So you have to actually know which boards you have to-dos, and you also have to know which groups you have to do. So this takes a little bit of setup, but once you're set up, it pretty much runs itself. So I'm gonna just, um, I know for sure that the single project board is one of mine um, that I have tasks on. Let's also go to um, DJ stuff. Um, I'm just gonna choose those two at the moment. Okay, but you wanna choose all the boards that you have uh, assigned tasks to. So you probably know which ones those are, but you wanna go through and make sure you don't miss any because it's not gonna automatically pull all of your boards. It's not gonna pull any of them. You have to know them. Um, so anyway, now that we've chosen the boards, now what we have to do is look through this and pull out any groups, uh, any groups that don't, um, that that aren't actually ones we want to show in here. So what we're, we're really looking for as I'm scrolling through is anything that says like completed or tabled or done. Here's a good example. So I'll leave everything else up, but anything done, we probably don't want. So what you can do, so I'm going to actually add another board that other I don't really use, but other people use. So here's daily tasks. So I'm just going to add daily tasks even though I don't really do anything with daily tasks. Because daily tasks is a good uh, example where we, what we want to do is pull out groups that no longer apply. So with daily tasks, we do like a weekly uh, group. So you'd want to subtract out this week. So we go up to choose groups. You're going to subtract out week of the 25th. You're also going to subtract out the daily, the skeleton because we never touch the skeleton. Skeleton's just there to then create the next week's groups. So you're going to select December uh, 2nd and not the other two. And that subtracts out the, the completed projects or the skeleton and the previous week, right? So I'm going to go back. Did I already pull out? Now I need to pull out the done one from here. So you'd look for anything that doesn't really apply. So you do that. It clicks it off and we're gonna just select these two. Um, so, this is, uh, looks pretty good. Um, now, I don't have daily tasks, so I'm actually gonna remove daily tasks. So, I'm just gonna remove daily tasks altogether. Um, in fact, I'll just do it up here. Okay, so I'm gonna click done, and then you want gonna wanna expand that. Um, there we go, and so now, um, Every, oh, and now I need to adjust. So now we have our table, but I'm seeing everybody's tasks for that day in the new My Dashboard view. So now we have to go up to the filter. And what we want to do is we have to, now this is a little bit of work, but you have to select every group for every board. So we're going to start with single projects. And I'm going to select this group. I'm going to select all the groups. So you click on them each, and then they start showing up underneath here. So select all those groups, and now go into each group. Oops, sorry. Uh, sorry, you selected all the groups, and now you want to change it to assigned to. So I'm going to look for me. There's me. And there we go. And I don't know what entered date is. I'm going to add that as well, although I don't 
think. I don't have to worry. About, actually, I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so now I've selected assign to. Um, and that's really all I need to do. I'm going to click save to this widget. And now, when we look here, I see all the tasks that I've been assigned to me, if that makes sense. So now, every day, I actually already created this called DJ's To Do's, but basically, I just click on my To Do's and I see everything that I am supposed to do. And, um, you know, there should be a due date on each one. You can add one if you don't have one. Um, and that's it, guys. So I thought I would show that to you because it, it's helped me uh, stay a bit more on top of all of my to do's and not having to go from board to board to board, uh, trying to remember which boards, you know, I have stuff on. So hopefully that was helpful. Thanks.